Hi, welcome to my channel. How to deal with beliefs that are impacting your life, impacting your manifestation, just impacting general day-to-day -day life. Can you, you know, do you have to pummel something into your subconscious day after day after day for months on end? I've done that in the past. I've done that with my self-concept really successfully, um, but it did take me about probably about six months or so to do that. But I didn't need to do that. And I discovered a couple of years ago that I did not need to do that. So I'm going to talk about how you can do that. You're no different than me honestly. And I, I've said before, I was a tough nut to crack, really. The analytical mind really has no part to play here. It's all about your subconscious. And the first thing I'm going to say is, and I've said it a lot, we can instruct our subconscious absolutely anything. So that's what I'm working with here. And that's what we're going to talk about. This is a fairly short video. I just want to tell you about this exercise and let you go from there. I've talked about this before in a slightly different way, and I've kind of adapted it to, because I think a lot of people don't do it because they think it's too simple. So they just kind of say, oh, that's interesting, but they never go away and do it because they think that's not gonna work, or they don't give it too much attention. It just doesn't appear that it's something that they would be able to do because it's too simple. And only people that have been doing this for ages and are really good at this, like me, you would perceive me to be really good at this, can do this, so people don't try. So I told you a while ago that way back, one of my clients talked to me about her technique, which was she called the healing technique. So she would find something that was holding her back and then heal it. So she would just say, I heal this. So I heal the attachment to blah, 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 um, something like that. And I really liked it. I resonated with it immediately and I've used it ever since. And I will use it on absolutely anything. I'm gonna tell you another way to do this if you don't like this kind of form of doing it. So I will, uh, maybe there's something I want in my life and I can feel there's something holding me back. And I, so I'll think, okay, what is that? And I might write it down, uh, what it is, to get real clarity on it. And I can see that it's a limit. So I'm wanting something, but I'm thinking, not, no, I'm not thinking it because it's not going over in my mind, but I have an autopilot program running that says, this and this is going to stop me from getting this because these autopilot programs are absolutely powerful because they're constant because we don't do anything to stop them so you immediately you notice it you've slowed it down you've recognized it. it can't fly under the radar anymore that's the first thing that happens then you say that you're going to heal it so have a go at it if you prefer this than the writing down version then have a go at this I heal, whatever it is, you've got clarity on what it is, you heal it, you just heal it. So you claim it, you don't talk around it and pretend you don't have it, you absolutely claim it, but then you heal it. That works for me, a treat, I can get relief, uh, you know, I can have a different feeling within a few seconds, it might take a couple of days, I might have to do it a few times, never longer than a week for me, never, and I can't remember the last time it was a week, because things do get thrown up in life, don't they? You're going on doing something and you feel something and then you think, oh, hang on a minute, uh, I'm feeling a bit stuck here, what's going on? And this is the time to use it. Now, here's the second way to do this. So you find what it is, you feed it, you think, yeah, I've got this going on, so what could it be? Um, you're wanting to make a certain amount of money, but deep inside you've got people like me don't make money like that, something like that. I mean, this is just an example, it could be absolutely anything. But So you want to get clarity on what your limit is, what your quibble is because it's, you wanna get the wording right, it's gotta feel right, you've gotta know that that's what it is, because sometimes we think we feel a certain thing, and when we go to analyze it, we realize it's something slightly different, so you need to get it right, so you have to feel, yeah, that is it, that is definitely it, okay, so you write it down, you see it in black and white, and you take it in, you really take it in, yeah, that is what I'm dealing with here, that is my quibble, and we are gonna just call it quibble, because quibble is easily got rid of, isn't it? So limiting belief sounds really bloody hard to get rid of, so then you can look at that, and you can either just cross it out, or you can cross it out and then write an alternative version of events underneath. So you've got people like me don't make that kind of money. Underneath, you could put, it's possible for me to make that money. That's all you've got to do. You've tweaked it. You ha you've just taken away the impossibility factor and made it possible. And as soon as it's possible, and you believe and you feel it's possible, it's going to be probable. And then it's just going to appear in your reality. But it's dealing with it. We have to deal with these things because if we don't, they'll just go on ticking over and over and over and over, having all the power and we don't even know that they're there. So what power can we have if we don't even know that they're there? So anything that you are noticing isn't showing up in your reality and you're thinking, I don't really think I have a massive amount of resistance. I don't feel hugely attached to it, but it hasn't shown up. Have a look at that. It's going to be something like that. 
there's always something. I have made another video about all the various reasons that you might not be manifesting, but if you can deal with any of the, if you can deal with um, these kind of programs, then actually that pretty much sorts out everything, doesn't it? Because if you can change that, so you have a different feeling, you might not right away see the evidence of anything changing on the outside, but you will feel different. And once you feel different, that's all that matters. Once you know that that program is gone, it's actually a relief. You know, I would do it with absolutely anything, sometimes really little things. Even if I'm feeling irritated with someone, then I will heal that. I will heal it. I heal the irritation I feel with it, <laughs> whatever. And it's usually gone pretty much right away. I wouldn't write that down because it's just a little thing that I'm dealing with, but I use this as a tool to help me through my life. Um, so that is my second way of doing it, is the writing down, scribbling it out, writing something else. Um, there are numerous ways to deal with these things, but what you don't want to do is think to yourself that you have to struggle on for months and months and months to change something that's just come from a, an old program because you don't. And I'm no different than anybody else, and I know lots of people that this has worked for, so um, it really, it, it can work for you. You just have to get your mindset into the, you have to get into the frame of mind that why can't this work? Of course it can work. This is supposed to be easy. It isn't supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be hard work. This is our natural, I would say God-given gift, but this is our natural gift that we've been given. We don't know who we've been giving it by or what's given it to us, but we have it. So it isn't going to be, we're not supposed to find the longest route around. You know, give this as an example. If I'm driving into the supermarket, I want to get as close to the door as possible. So I will find the space closest to the door. Jeremy, for example, will come into the supermarket and he will park in the furthest space away from the door, like right at the back of the car park. And I'm like, and I've got to walk, you know, if it's pouring with rain or something, I'm the one going in, I'm going to walk miles away um, because it, because he will prefer to find a space where there's not really many other cars around. So for him, that is the easier route. But for me, I want to get closest. I want to get closest possible. Yes, I may be in amongst a load of other cars, but I don't care. So it's how you're feeling about it that matters and nothing else. So have a go at this. Let me know how you get on. If you want to make a comment here and say with this stuff, the simpler, the better. But it is nice to do things. Well, I, I think it is nice to try and take an active approach with this stuff because you really feel, you do start changing your mindset. And I am going to do a big video on mindset, probably if I get a chance to record it next week, maybe or might be the Christmas week, but I am going to make a fairly epic video on that because we can change our lives. Our minds are absolutely awesome. We can. I mean, with our mind and our subconscious working in harmony, there is nothing that we can't achieve. So I hope this was useful. I am an author. My books are listed below. I'm going to put a couple of them up here now. I offer email coaching and I offer Zoom coaching. Just pop along to my website, which I will link to now um, and have a look and see if anything suits you.